Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the gamma distribution. So what we have here is the probability density function of the gamma distribution that is an integral from 0 to infinity of lambda to the power of alpha times x to the power of alpha minus 1 times the exponential of minus lambda x, just make a note of that there, divided by the gamma function of alpha. Okay, so the integral of that with respect to x is equal to 1 when the limits of integration are 0 to infinity. Use the properties of the gamma function to show that the gamma PDF, which we have here, integrates to 1. Okay, so that's essentially the question. The question really is, uh, is about using these properties of the gamma function and just developing your knowledge about these and how to use these on an ongoing basis in the context of probability distributions. In particular, we're going to look at these two here, okay? So the first one is, property 1, the gamma function of alpha is the definite integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power of alpha minus 1 times the exponential of minus x. The exponential of minus x, make, let's make a note of that, dx, okay? The second property is that the integral of 0 to infinity, from 0 to infinity of x to the power of alpha minus 1 times the exponential of minus lambda x dx that is equal to the gamma function of alpha divided by lambda to the power of alpha, where lambda is greater than zero. Okay, so they're very similar, and in fact, property two actually is a generic case, where property one is a specific case where lambda is equal to one. So we're going to use both of these, well, actually, really more so property two in this question here, okay? But the key thing here is, what's the difference between property 1 and property 2? It's essentially what the power of the exponential is. Is it minus x or is it minus lambda x? Okay, and that is the difference there in the result. So there's a three more properties there. The property 3, 4, and 5, we will disregard them for this video. Okay, well, not to disregard them, but essentially just highlight property two, essentially. So, this is the question specifically. This is the probabil probability density function. The integral from zero to infinity of f of x dx, okay, is this expression here. So what we're going to do is take out the components of this expression here that are not functions of x. So we have lambda to the power of alpha, and we have the gamma function of alpha. So we're going to take them out and treat them as a constant, okay? And what we have left is x to the power of alpha minus 1 times the exponential of minus lambda x, okay? So we have that there. Now, using property 2... We know that this expression here is equal to the gamma function of alpha divided by lambda to the power of alpha, okay? But recall our constant term here, this part here, which is, we, we sort of separated out from the integral, the lambda to the power of alpha divided by the gamma function of alpha. So essentially what we could do is, uh, cancel these out, the lambda to the power of alpha cancels out, the gamma function of alpha cancels out, so what we're left with is 1, okay? And that's what we're asked to do, show that this integral is equal to 1, okay? So really, that's the job done. It really, this presentation really was about property 2 here of the properties of the gamma function and just knowing what's what and how to use it there and also you know on an ongoing basis just actually recognize the difference between property one and property two because you can sort of not spot that difference so easily okay just a cursory glance okay we'll leave it there